Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining the Texas Instruments New Product Update webinar. Just a reminder that this is a weekly series held every Thursday at 10 a.m. Central. A few quick announcements before we get started. This webinar will be recorded and available at ti.com slash NPU. All phone lines are muted. If you have any questions, please use the chat box and we'll try to answer in real time, or you can contact your TI salesperson or field application engineer. Today's topic is reduced system design efforts with flexible RS-485 transceiver, the TVHZ1424. And I will now pass it over to Brian Lynn for introduction. Thank you. Hey, hello uh, everyone. My name is Brian Lin, uh, product marketing engineer for Transceiver uh, uh, Product Group at Texas Instrument. Today, um, I'm uh, very happy to have this uh, uh, opportunity to introduce our new products to uh, through this uh, webinar, and uh, I also have my uh, uh, application engineer Parker Duxon uh, with me to uh, support this uh, webinar to answer the questions in the chat. Feel free to uh, provide your question if any. Okay, so. Um, Today, I'm here to talk about uh, industrial first three flexible RS-485 transceiver, TI THVD-1424 and THVD-1454 to um, introduce system design efforts. So this is my agenda today. I will start with the RS-485 introduction a little bit and then provide a uh, introduction of TI um, new and hero devices of RS-485, um, which are uh, broadly used in many industrial applications. After that, I will uh, talk about our uh, new product flexible RS-485 transceiver, THVD-1424 and THVD-1454. Yeah, and in the end, of my presentation, uh, I will uh, show some uh, uh, technical documents uh, associated with uh, these two devices, which are already available on TI.com. So um, it will be uh, uh, very helpful and useful for you to understand how to uh, design our device uh, easily and properly. Okay, so let's uh, get started for my uh, presentation today. So RS-485 stands for the recommended standard and uh, are created by Telecommunication Industry Association and uh, the Electrical Industrial Alliance in 1983. Uh, it is a differential signal standard that uh, defines the electrical characteristics of the drivers and receivers used to um, implement a balanced multi-point transmission line. So uh, RS-485 use in very uh, uh, various industrial and networking applications that uh, uh, require the reliable and robust data transmission over um, long distance. It defines uh, uh, specifications such as minimize required a signal uh, amplitude uh, generated from the transmitter slide, uh, transmitter side, and also the receiver input sensitivity and also receiver uh, input impedance and et cetera. But the, some are not defined in this standard, such as uh, cabling, connectors, or data protocols. So they will give uh, system designers uh, more flexibility in their design. Um, RS-485 uh, have uh, uh, several benefits. Uh, the first benefit is uh, well known is uh, its a balanced interface, which is uh, perfect for longer transmission distance and uh, uh, increase the noise immunities. 
okay? And uh, the balance inter in interface requires two wires uh, for data transmission, which each wire car carrying an equal and opposite signal that will uh, have cancel out the external noise that makes RS-485 ideal for industrial and commercial applications where um, the multiple devices need to uh, communicate uh, each other's over long distance and uh, a noise environment. Um, because of the two single line switch inversely to uh, one another, the, um, the electronic magnetic field emitted by each line is opposite of each other, so they will help to um, reduce the noise and interference. So um, RS-485 um, support a multi-point bidirection communication uh, uh, with two wires. Um, that helps uh, use a lower cable and, and uh, also reduce the co uh, cable cost in the uh, uh, reality, reality design. And uh, also have to uh, driver to drive large uh, differential signal into the, the load in the field. So they in, in enable the signal to travel across long distance uh, while uh, being large enough signal to be accurate uh, uh, received by the receiver side. And the uh, um, RS-485 driver and receivers also require uh, uh, to operate over a common mode range of the uh, negative seven volts to 12 volts. So uh, they enable data uh, 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 fidelities uh, in um, in the present of the larger uh, ground potential shift uh, relative to other interface standards. And they may also help to extend the operable distance uh, of the RS-485 uh, transmission line. So um, RS-485 is well known and, and most uh, used uh, uh, transceivers in the uh, industrial application for more than three decades. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the balanced uh, different signal type is very good to reject the common mode noise and uh, uh, communicate data over the uh, long distance in very noisy environment, especially in the industrial applications. So uh, that's why you see lots of uh, application. You can see the <clears throat> RS-485 uh, 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 requirement and uh, use, user scenario over there, such as a PLC, protection relay, solar inverter, emitter, motor drive, HVAC, and industrial automation, etc. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, move to the TIRS 485 uh, portfolio. Um, TIRS 485 products have many um, uh, features and broad uh, product portfolio is uh, one of the major features that we would like to uh, make uh, customers uh, benefit for their design. So we support um, many features and that easier to meet customer uh, requirement in their design, such as uh, duplex, include half and uh, four duplex. Supply um, can support three volt, five volt, even 3.3 volt to five volt, yeah. We also have uh, 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 what, uh, low I/O voltage support, low uh, down to 1.8 volt, which can allow uh, uh, you can the 
direct connect with the low voltage MCU or processors I/O interface without uh, adding any additional uh, level trans uh, level shift translator. And additionally, uh, we also have a special functions such as uh, you can see the right hand side and auto polarities correction, auto direction selection, and also kind of a uh, uh, very good uh, 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 use uh, application like uh, power line communications. Yeah, so you can see uh, some of the uh, numbers over here, THVD15, uh, 05, or THVD1406, or THVD800. Those are uh, hero device and are widely uh, used popular in the market for those uh, particular functions. And another uh, 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 feature that we focus is high performance. Yeah, we want to make sure customers design uh, can um, re achieve uh, much higher robustness and uh, reliabilities when using the uh, TIRS485. So as you can see, we um, integrate the uh, uh, ICESC protection and search protection uh, uh, circuit inside. We support a high bus for protection, uh, higher up to the 700 volt, which can protect device not damages due to the bus line is short to power supply or miss wire connect connectors. Okay, and additionally, as I mentioned earlier, common mode voltage range is also important to make sure you can uh, communicate data uh, uh, without any error. So, uh, why common mode range uh, up to 25 uh, plus minus 25 volts is um, very uh, important that can make sure we can receive, transmit the data very well with, uh, we, without any error bit. And yeah, the, the next one, the, the third one is the small package. Yeah, that is, uh, we, are, uh, we see the, the trend and uh, re requirement in the market. So we that is one of our uh, uh, TI focus and, and uh, development area for the uh, small package development. So in addition to standard packages, the common mode, um, common mode, uh, uh, you know, common used is uh, uh, such as uh, SOIC, VSSOP, or VSAM. Um, we have a small package, as you can see here, options is called uh, SOT soft package that is uh, able to meet the uh, uh, compact design requirement in the industrial. Yeah, especially motor drive or uh, uh, automations or great infrastructure, we see this demands more and more yeah, increased. So uh, you can uh, obviously to see SOT packages uh, only 12% of the SOIC package size. So you can also consider and to put the, this smaller size uh, SOT device underneath the uh, largest device like, like uh, SOIC or, or VSAM packages yeah, to have a two option in your one uh, PCB design. Um, this is uh, um, our TI uh, R485 uh, uh, product portfolio. So as you can see, uh, uh, we have a very comprehensive and um, portfolio, and you can see um, two get two categories uh, in this chart. Uh, one is half duplex R485. Uh, the other one is four duplex, and each category, each category has their uh, unique and outstanding features. 
uh, such as uh, uh, auto priorities or high ESD protection, termination, integration, and uh, many others. So uh, let's uh, uh, see an example here. For if you are looking for a device which is uh, uh, need to have duplex and uh, also need a high bus for protection and uh, low voltage uh, I/O uh, features to VCC. So from this kind of uh, requirements and and you can see. Um, uh, THVD 2410V and THVD 2450V are the perfect choices uh, to uh, address your needs. So it, it means uh, that the simple message is uh, no matter what kind of feature you are looking for, I believe a TI product portfolio can uh, can uh, address uh, and and meet your requirement. Okay, so. Today, a new device I'm going to introduce uh, here to you is uh, uh, unique features that also mentioned here, termin uh, termination integration features. We call the flexible RS485, THVD 1424, and the THVD 1454. Yeah, I am uh, will introduce the the, the product selling point and uh, advantage features in the following slides. So um, now let's look at the uh, key features of THVD 1424 flexible RS485 transceiver. Um, the uh, THVD 24 for uh, for, uh, 1424, sorry, uh, THVD 1424 major selling points are um, uh, the um, provide uh, provide a helpful duplex mall data array and termination resistors uh, on off uh, configurable uh, through uh, uh, external pin uh, control. So uh, you can easily to use the external pin to control uh, if you want to have all four duplex or switch con configure your data array is a 500k or 20 megabit per second, or you can also control if you need to turn on or turn off your terminations. And meanwhile, you. Our device also uh, support the uh, uh, wide uh, I/O logic voltage uh, from the 1.65 volt to 5.5 volts. That means you can direct connect with uh, low voltage MCU FPGA I/O interface without any level translators if the the I/O interface voltage is low. So it will help to reduce system cost and both size. Additionally, uh, we also uh, have uh, uh, built-in uh, IEC ESD protections uh, in this device, which can provide system-level ESD protection capabilities, so customer uh, uh, doesn't need the extra external ESD components to protect their system. It uh, saves uh, overall system both space and uh, photo system uh, uh, bone cost. And uh, THVD uh, 1424 operating uh, junction temperature range in, is pretty wide from the minus 14 C to 150 C. And the uh, package offer a uh, small uh, VQFN 16 pin package, three millimeter by three millimeter size. So this small package is good for customer to reduce their uh, footprint in the space constraint PCB uh, applications. So let's uh, move to uh, another device, THVD 1454. Uh, this device 
is a, a product variants of the THVD1424. Uh, they are uh, pretty similar that they uh, uh, 1454 also support the data ray as uh, configurable and termination on of configurable through the external uh, pin. So, uh, but it only uh, support the half duplex mode. So, uh, if your 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 uh, scenario is a simple, just a half duplex, but you need the termination uh, integration and also uh, can uh, control on off. Uh, very flexible in any uh, different kind of situation. This is a good device you can consider. And uh, the same, the, the um, package wise is very small. It's a VSUM 10 pin packages, just a three millimeter by three millimeter size. And uh, also it's a good news that uh, it's uh, also um, dropping repress with the current existing the solutions from uh, the other vendor in the market. So that is a, a, another option and for your alternative consideration in your design. So here, just I want to bring up that think about why we need a, a flexible ice 485. So um, first of all, uh, we need to understand uh, the, the the needs of the uh, every every application or any equipment. So RS four eighty five networks uh, must be designed for uh, maybe different uh, supply uh, logic interface level and uh, um, network and trace and data rate and throughput. So the Synchronous uh, integrity and noise immunity and 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 performance need to verify. So customers and designers usually need to select and test qualify different RS four eighty five transceivers to meet uh, unique application requirements. So for different application or for different uh, user scenario and may uh, choose a different uh, R sports, right? So it means you take more, lots of time to qualify to test. Additionally, the uh, system designer need to uh, 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 develop different uh, uh, printed uh, circuit board, PCB, uh, for the uh, uh, end nodes or uh, mid nodes in their network, because as um, you, you, the RS four eighty five maybe uh, it's probably use the uh, different locations. So usually uh, in the end nodes, uh, we well uh, add the, the termination uh, to uh, improve the single integrities. Okay, but in some uh, uh, nodes, if you are uh, overshoot, undershoot, in, in single integrity is not so good, you will also try to add a termination to improve the the the, the single uh, quality. So uh, from these two factors, so um, the, the 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 process to identify to choose to find the appropriate the RS four eighty five transceiver will uh, consume lots of uh, 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 efforts and time resource, okay, for the engineer. So they will increase uh, design uh, uh, time and maybe uh, uh, delay your uh, product time to market. So to, so that's why uh, people will consider to implement uh, this uh, 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 flexible uh, uh, functions uh, integrate the uh, uh, termination or, or duplex mode. Um, without a one chip integration, if you use the discrete solution here, yeah, actually um, we see some challenges. Now, here are some examples. When you look at the left hand side, it shows a discrete circuit approach to implement switchable 
termination and duplex functions. And you can see there are three additional photo modes which are required to use as a switch to switch on of the terminations. And the, the other uh, figures on the right shows um, the, how to implement uh, the, the logic control circuitries with uh, 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 to, to achieve the duplex uh, switching uh, functions uh, uh, with the discrete uh, approach. So you can see many components are used in this control logic. And you can see the design will become more uh, complicated and more complex. So, and also require more system space. So, if you want to do termination and duplex a switchable function with discrete solutions, you, your design will become very, uh, very complex. And uh, also, um, you need use external components uh, quite a lot will occupy uh, a more system ball space. And of course, the overall system bone cost, cost structure and cost will increase as well. Um, now, our new solution, THVD 1424, can completely overcome those uh, challenges. So pin uh, control data rate, uh, duplex mode, switchable termination in THVD 1424 uh, can allow designer to choose the appropriate uh, configuration for each specific user case. And they can simplify the ball by uh, just uh, use one device uh, for entire network instead of using a uh, different kind of uh, um, transceivers in their traditional design. According to the different situation and different network, it's also easier to optimize your signal quality by just uh, uh, configure the data rate or termination without changing any PCB uh, design. Yeah, that's I mentioned earlier, you can based on the current uh, signal quality or, or, or data rate you need or uh, radiation uh, uh, you need to configure your, 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 uh, your uh, the, the uh, configuration and settings in this device. So that can easier to, to help customer meet their design requirement and resolve their design uh, pinpoint. So, uh, so of course, just a use one de device. So means a customer uh, doesn't need to spend a lot of time to test qualified uh, multiple R485 transceiver solutions uh, for different uh, specific user case. Okay, so it will save lots of uh, design efforts time uh, during the customer development uh, phase. As a result, um, the key benefit uh, for customers uh, is they can just use one device that I highlight here. Yeah, that uh, THVD1424 yeah, can use any node location, end node or middle node uh, in any network and by selecting appropriate terminations, okay? and yeah, save a lot of design efforts. Lastly, um, I just want to uh, summarize uh, and some technical resource here for you uh, to reference that you can easily to design our flexible R's for 85 uh, products. Um, um, uh, but secondly, you can see um, we have uh, EVM uh, available for both the two devices, THVD 1424 or THVD 1454. 
is already uh, on, on PR.com. Feel free to uh, uh, apply the uh, sample or even to evaluate and experience our performance. Okay, you will uh, find a uh, outstanding and amazing uh, result. Of course, uh, uh, I know uh, today we don't have a live Q and A sections. Yeah, uh, uh, you probably have many questions um, in the chat. Uh, but uh, I think uh, our, our uh, application engineer will uh, tr try to answer. Uh, answer your question as many as possible. But uh, if you have any questions uh, not addressed or you have questions in the near future, please uh, 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 take advantage of our E2E. Yeah, so uh, our uh, support forum will, will uh, answer your question pretty quickly. All right, so um, so the information about this uh, new product uh, update and and all others uh, presentation we have before you can go to tr.com slash mpu so um there's a calendar of what is coming up or what is already archived along with the uh, uh, recordings so you can always can uh, go go back to uh, check and review any uh, MPU. Uh, so last, um, I, I do appreciate all of your time to join uh, today's uh, new product update. Uh, thank you so much. So um, if you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, thank you so much.